Facing fierce scrutiny over mail delays, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy tonight announcing the Postal Service is suspending operational changes until after the November election to, quote, avoid even the appearance of any impact on election mail. The abrupt move following accusations the Trump administration was intentionally trying to undermine an expected surge in mail-in voting during the pandemic. They're afraid of the voter. They're afraid of the American people. Why? Because people are on to them. The controversial cost-cutting initiatives, including the removal of sorting machines and the slashing of overtime, have been blamed for significant lags in mail service. This photo provided to NBC News by a postal employee shows packages the employee says have been sitting at a distribution center in New York for nine days. DeJoy, a Trump ally and Republican fundraiser, now says mail processing equipment and collection boxes will remain where they are. No facilities will be closed and overtime hours will continue to be approved as needed. Still, it's unclear what it means for changes that have already been made and whether equipment that's been removed will be restored. The announcement comes as DeJoy has agreed to testify at a pair of emergency hearings before a Republican-led Senate committee this Friday and a Democratic-controlled House panel Monday. We need to get him under oath on a committee letting us know what is happening, and we have to undo the damage that he has already done. Ahead of visits to Iowa and Arizona today, President Trump again attacked universal mail-in voting, where some states proactively send mail-in ballots to all voters. For the first time, he's suggesting there may need to be a presidential election do-over, which cannot happen. Universal is going to be a disaster, the likes of which our country has never seen. It'll end up being a rigged election, or they will never come out with an outcome. They'll have to do it again. And nobody wants that, and I don't want that. Tonight, Lewis DeJoy says the Postal Service is ready to handle all the election mail it gets this fall. Still, Nancy Pelosi is not satisfied with today's move, calling it, quote, an insufficient first step in ending the president's election sabotage campaign. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.